The rod end is exactly as the name implies. It's a piece that goes on the end of the metal rod, hold it in place, and these metal rods will be installed later. The finished install isn't that noticeable from the top, it's just these screws, but underneath you can see where the rod ends have been installed. So let's take a look at what parts this takes. Two Z rod ends, six plastite screws, and double check the head of your screws because if you have a star like mine, you'll need to use a Torx tip for your screwdriver. I used a T10, but if you have a different head to your screw, use whatever is the appropriate screwdriver for yours. You'll notice these plastite screws have very large threads. That's because they tap the opening as you screw them in place. Tapping means adding threads to an opening. So you're going to actually find that these are somewhat harder to tighten than the other screws because you'll actually be threading the opening as you tighten the screw in place. Here I've flipped the base upside down because I want to show you where the Z-axis rod ends are installed. However, you do not need to flip this upside down. Just take a peek at what it looks like underneath. Uh, you'll actually be installing these from the top. So let's take a look at where they go. They fit in here and here. And it's important that you orient them the way you see because there's a little bit of a problem if you turn this a different way. Suppose you installed it like this. You'd be blocking this motor from being installed. So you want the side with two holes closest to the square of the motor. So you've got to imagine sort of diamond shape to this motor here and make sure that you line this up correctly. Now it's also important that you make sure the actual hole for the rod end is facing, in this case, away from me, which is the upward facing end of the base. So we're going to flip this over and actually install the rod ends. I flipped the base back upright and I want to show you the orientation of the rod ends one more time because now that I flipped it over, they're actually reversed of what you just saw. So they're going to go in like this, but of course underneath. So again, the hole for the rod should be facing up and we're just going to slide them in from the side and screw them in place. Before you actually go and install these in place, I find it's really difficult to install the plastite screws. So what I did was actually just kind of tighten them a little bit into each opening. I only made about two turns of the screwdriver and then I backed out the screw. Then when I went to install it in place, it was a lot easier to start the plastite screws because I'd already kind of primed the opening. So if you want to do that, I recommend it for you, but it's not necessary. Take the rod end and hold it in your hand in the correct orientation, slide it underneath, and make sure all the holes line up. Once you see the holes line up, you can put in your plastite screws using a screwdriver. You want to tighten them so they feel firm, but don't over tighten them because this is a kind of screw that threads the plastic and you don't want to damage the plastic by trying to over tighten it. Now we're going to do the other side and again, hold the rod end the way you need to orient it, slide it underneath, get the holes lined up, and then put your screws in place. Flip the base over one last time to make sure the rod ends are installed in the correct orientation. If they're not, you will need to take them off and reattach them. But if you have them in the right spot, then you're all finished and ready to move on.